So we began the equity journey here at Maggie Walker about two and a half years ago when we were working to update our strategic plan. Unfortunately, when COVID hit, uh, hit it really about the worst time it could in terms of being able to get things done, and, and it pushed our uh, process back by about six months while we were kind of navigating that whole mess. But ultimately, we did get a new pl uh, plan in place, and the very first goal on that plan was to create a welcoming environment for all of our students, and specifically to target underrepresented groups to try to give them opportunities here on campus um, in addition to the traditional groups that have always been here. And so to do that, we had to kind of attack it from two angles. Number one, we wanted to increase our recruitment efforts and get a broader group of students. We wanted to take a hard look at our admissions process and make sure that our admissions, pro our admissions process wasn't acting as a deterrent to kids who wanted to apply but just didn't think they could get through the process. But then we also needed to take a look at what we were doing on campus to make sure that once the child got here, that they felt welcome, that they felt that they belonged, that this was a home for them, and that they would feel comfortable even talking to their friends in their neighborhoods about, hey, Maggie Walker's a place we want to go. Uh, we've only got one year underway so far, but the data is already starting to show what we wanted to, to show. And I'll give you an example. Our current freshman class, the class of 2025, has 29 black students in it. That is more than the sophomores, juniors, and seniors combined. Uh, we find the same thing with our Latinx kids, 17 uh, Hispanic Latinx students and 15 students made up of sophomores, juniors, and seniors. So we're already starting to see some of the effort paying off with what really we haven't had a lot of time to do a whole lot. Uh, it's a journey for us and, and I realize over the past say 18 months you know there's been a lot in the press about the inequities in governor schools and it's something we have to own and we recognize it. What I um, always say is give us a chance to work it and stay with us and continue to take a look at what we're doing because I think we're headed down the right path. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time to do it right. You know the last thing we want to do is not have the support systems in place here at the school. If we're going to broaden our approach and bring more kids in, we want to make sure they're successful. And we're not going to lower our standards. That's not an option for us. So, um, you know, just equity is a journey, but we're, we're definitely headed in the right direction.